Alright, hey what's up guys, it's Lights here, and today I'm bringing you a, a pretty decent gameplay. I went 22-1 and one and I had no exotics and like no exotic hand cannons or gala horn or anything like that. I was just, I had my uh, vanilla destiny red hand and my effort 8 spear without final round. I hate those people. But what I wanted to talk about today was the weekly update that came out yesterday, and it is exciting. We get what is it on the 8th a week before uh, the Taken King comes out we get the Destiny 2.0 patch so all of the auto rifles are gonna be buffed but the range is gonna be nerfed at the same time and then uh, the pulse rifles are gonna get bigger magazines um, all of the hand cannons are gonna get smaller magazines and a shorter range which I know everyone's excited about but um, one of the things I wanted to talk about was the Nightfall um, they talked about how their experience, the desired Nightfall experience they want is where you get together with a bunch of friends, well, two friends, and uh, put on all your best gear and try and get through it as a team instead of, you know, people soloing it and, uh, like, with burns and stuff. So they said burn skulls motivate weapon rotation, and now that the burn resist talents found on chess piece, chess pieces will rotate armor. So it's like with all the new taken king armor pieces there's going to be burn there's going to be arc solar and void pieces that resist arc damage or resist void damage or generate orbs when you deal arc damage or things like that and so people are going to be collecting a lot more gear to do things like this with um certain perks so let's say i have a warlock chest piece that lets me deal arc damage and it's a arc burn nightfall i'm going to put that on along with whatever arc weapons are going to be out at that time and I will be generating more orbs or whatever the perks are for uh, my teammates right here is actually the only death I have in my gameplay I was so mad uh, but um another thing they said is the death penalty of being kicked to orbit makes people feel like it's a grind to get to it and uh, people start playing too safe so they took out getting kicked to orbit it completely changed up the nightfall and uh, I don't know how I feel about that because I feel like the nightfall should kick you out the orbit because it should be very difficult you know it shouldn't be a run-of-the-mill thing but uh, it's got a 30 second respawn timer just like the raids just like the weekly heroic uh, they changed the level from level 34 to level 40 because well, they're raising the level cap from level 34 to 40, so the Nightfalls are the hardest weekly thing. Well, the second hardest compared to the raid weekly thing we'll be doing, so they raised the level cap on that too. Another thing they wanted to talk about in the weekly update was the weekly PvP ritual. Now, they think of it as the counterpart to a Nightfall, and since the Nightfall is a PvE-oriented activity, the PvP ritual is a PvP-oriented activity, and everyone who plays PvP, who likes PvP, um, and don't like PvE that much, they don't get the best gear, because they don't play PvE that much, so they don't get, you know, the Ray level gear, or the Nightfall level gear, or anything like that. They have to grind through that if they want it, which Bungie's changing, which I like. They're adding the five weekly bounties from Lord Shax in the tower, and at the end of it, you'll get the very last bounty you'll unlock the last bounty and when you complete that you'll get nightfall tier loot which i think is amazing the last thing that bungie talked about in their weekly update yesterday that related to the game instead of like packs and stuff was they have removed dedicated weekly heroic strikes from the game starting this fall which means above the nightfall icon we won't have a weekly heroic strike that we can change the level to and get strange coins we'll have instead vanguard heroic playlist now, um, each week we'll earn, we'll receive bonus legendary marks from completing the weekly heroic playlist, and uh, these are received at an account rather than character. So, you do it once per once on one character, it should uh, be rewarded to, since they're legendary marks, they go to all three characters. So we won't have to do it three times, just like the Nightfall. And uh, they have upped the count or up the level for it, so it requires level 40, just like the Nightfall. They remove the weekly cap at how many legendary marks we can earn per week. So right now we can earn 200 Vanguard and 200 Crucible marks, and you can only earn 100 a week. So 
once you earn a hundred, even if you keep doing Vanguard Strikes or even if you earn a hundred of Crucible Marks and you're playing Crucible, you won't get any marks after a hundred. Now they've removed that cap. So you can get 200 Legendary Marks in a week and then go and spend it and keep earning those marks. You could buy three or four armor pieces in a week if you have that, uh, that much time. And with each uh, weekly heroic strike that we do on the first character, we will get a guaranteed legendary. Now, that will be good starting in the Taken King, because no one's going to have the Taken King gear. It's going to be great. That's it. That's all I have for today. So if you guys could really support us in this, as we're both new to this. Well, he's not as new as I am, but I'm really new to this. I'm new to talking to a computer and getting my point across trying to talk about what's going on so leave a like a comment tell us what you want to see things like that and it'd be great thank you see you guys later